If you're someone who just made the switch from Streamlabs OBS and you've moved into OBS or you're considering the switch and you don't want to lose the quality of life things like overlays that you can easily import directly into the program or alerts that you can easily import and test from within the program. Today I've got you. Not only am I going to show you how you can do all of this through OBS, but there are a lot of free options just like in Streamlabs OBS to get you going, especially as a budget streamer. Let's get into it. So what you're looking at on the screen right now is OBS. And one of the things that you need to do is make sure that this is downloaded onto your computer. We're gonna talk about a few settings to get everything ready, but there's a couple things that we have to download to make this work. One is OBS and two is a plugin. That's one thing that OBS can do that Streamlabs can't is have extra things added in like plugins and extensions and stuff. So let's go download a plugin that's gonna make this experience so much easier. In the description, you will find two download links. One of them is for OBS and the second one is for Owned Pro. This is a great tool and a great resource created by Owned.tv so that you can use their alerts and their overlays inside OBS directly without having to buy them, download them, and put them in. So go ahead, download OBS, and then go ahead and click that link with me, and I'll walk you through this install process. So the website is owned.gg slash Cyrus Pro. That link is an affiliate link, and I encourage you to consider getting the Owned Pro subscription. For a year, I can give you 50% off with my coupon code Cyrus Pro, and that'll give you the full year for $50, and that gives you access to all of their overlays as well as alerts. All of that stuff can get directly downloaded into your OBS and ready to use right now. So once again, thank you to our partners over at own.tv for sponsoring this video, and let's get back into the tutorial. Once you're on the website, you're going to want to click join for free, and you want to go ahead and sign in with your Twitch, Discord, email, whatever the case. I recommend you going ahead and signing in with your Twitch so that everything can link across and once you're there we're gonna go to the dashboard once you're in you will see that you're on the dashboard and it's gonna be in big yellow letters right here that says download the OBS plugin go ahead and click download save it to where you can use it once that's downloaded go ahead and run that .exe file and make sure that OBS is closed and go ahead and install this plugin once you have that installed it's really simple to get things installed go up to tools at the top of OBS and choose owned pro this is gonna pop up a new window that you can use and in here you're going to see everything that you're probably going to need for a while free overlays there are five free ones that they're giving to you and then you can see if you do have owned pro you can scroll and see things like alpha gaming dark mode glitch the rodan there's so many things here that you can use that are completely free there's some that are game oriented like phasmophobia there are great options here but go ahead and choose for right now i'm going to choose one of the free ones i'm going to choose the avoid and click install and once that's installed it's really quick everything is done for me chat is linked alerts are linked everything is ready to go i've just got to add my webcam and my game capture and you are ready to go just to go ahead and show you this it includes stinger transitions as i go to the just chatting screen you can see that there was a stinger transition and you can see that it also connects to live chat and a whole bunch of other things and you can turn things on or off depending on what you would like so if i go ahead and have someone type in chat like I just typed in hello world, you can see that that pops up right here as hello world. Followers are already linked, subscribers, bits, everything is ready. All you have to do is to add your sources. So let's go ahead and do one just for a test. I'm gonna create a new capture device and then I'm gonna choose my webcam. Hello, there I am, real big. And I'm just gonna drag it all the way under and then I can reposition exactly what I have, put it right there and then I'm ready to go. I could put my game right there. I could put whatever I wanted right there. It's no big deal. Everything is already set up and ready to go and I can hit go, start streaming very quickly right off the gate with this. To get alerts, make sure you go ahead and click on tools and go to owned pro again. And under here, you can find the corresponding alerts to the overlay you downloaded by choosing alerts. At the top, we did overlays, just click alerts and then you can click configure. It's gonna launch the dashboard. I'm gonna put this over to the side so that we can see it. Once that is installed, like for example, the avoid one, we're gonna click the install button. And this is what's gonna do the installation of these alerts. Everything again is already linked. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this up. And I'm gonna go ahead and click test alerts follow. And we're gonna see that on the screen, it's going to pop up a follow right here. It says Demarcus Showalter is now following. And you can see it's, it's matched. It's obviously within the same thing. And you can be able to move that around on the left. You see that we actually have a source for the owned dot alerts. 
I can move that around, we can test it again, and at any point, you could customize this the way you want. But essentially, everything is ready to go. Apollo 08 is now following. Last but not least is the chatbot, and this is a pretty powerful chatbot. It's comparable to Streamlabs and Stream Elements chatbot, but you do get commands, moderation, and timers, which are the things that most people want on their streams, so that people do exclamation socials or exclamation lurk. You can set that up. Moderation, you can get them to actually make sure they're checking behind your stream if you don't have mods active, and for timers, things that will roll constantly, like your TikTok social or your YouTube channel. You can get that to post every few minutes consistently to make sure that you're promoting the other parts of content that you're doing. If you're looking for more tips for OBS, I have a video right here that's got 20 of them that's gonna make you a master of OBS in no time. I'll see you over there.